Hello, this is your government notices for today, Thursday, October 15th, 2020. I am Carlene Peters. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keep Mitchell has called for structural changes and greater accountability in the fisheries sector. Continuing his series of meetings with ministers and top ministry officials, Dr. Mitchell expressed his concern about the current state of the fisheries sector. He stated that the management system must change and we must ensure that there is a greater level of accountability. The sector needs urgent help and we must demonstrate our commitment to making the requisite improvements. The Prime Minister also cited the issue of marine protected areas as an area for quick action. He said there appears to be too much self-interest rather than doing what is best for the country as a whole. Both the Minister and Permanent Secretary have pledged their commitment to work collaboratively to bring about the necessary restructuring and revitalization of the fisheries sector. The Eastern Caribbean Currency Union member governments have designated the month of October as Financial Information Month. During this month, a collaboration with commercial banks, other financial institutions, ministries of finance and education, and the media implemented initiatives aimed at preparing citizens to make prudent financial decisions that enable improvements in the quality of life. This year, the focus is on resilience in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. The tagline is Building Financial Resilience in the COVID-19 Environment. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, its local office, is offering a virtual workshop for entrepreneurs and small business owners. It starts today, Thursday, October 15, 2020, and runs from 4.15 p.m. to 6.15 p.m. The objective of the workshop is to strengthen bookkeeping skills and improve knowledge of NIS benefits for small business owners. Registration is free. For more information, contact the ECCB local office on telephone number 409-9413. The Grenada Tourism Authority and the Ministry of Tourism are in negotiations with Seabourn and Sea Dream Yacht Club about resuming cruise calls to Grenada. These discussions are aimed at creating income generating activities for many Grenadians who are affected by the suspension of cruise ship calls to the island. A task force compromising key stakeholders in the cruise industry is looking at mortalities for restarting the industry and holding discussions with the cruise lines. As part of the discussions, requests have been made to secure access to uncrowded beaches to minimize personal contact between locals and visitors, thus reducing any possible transmission of the disease. In this pandemic period, the first and foremost priority of the government is to keep the shores of the Tri-Island State safe and ensure responsible, diverse economic recovery. Since the pandemic has become full-blown, thousands of Grenadians involved in the tourism industry have lost their job. So the government is working cautiously to restore their jobs while preserving the health of the nation. Sea Dream Yacht Club is proposing to work with Barbados, Grenada, St. Vincent, and and the Grenadines. It will operate from Barbados and only persons with negative tests will be allowed to board. Seaborn, meanwhile, will operate from Barbados and only persons who produce negative COVID-19 tests will be allowed into the country. They will be then tested in Barbados before boarding the ship and will be strictly monitored while on board. This ship will cruise once every 14 days. Five other islands are involved in this southern cruise. They are Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dominica and St. Kitts and Nevis. The Ministry of Tourism and Civil Aviation thanks the general public for their feedback and suggestions and urges patience and solidarity as we work together to emerge from this latest crisis. The Ministry of Agriculture and Lands is inviting the general public to the 2020 World Food Day celebrations. It takes place tomorrow, Friday, October 16, 2020, at the National Stadium Car Park. Activities begin with an opening ceremony from 10 a.m. to be followed by exhibitions and farmer's market. 
all COVID-19 health and safety protocols will be in effect. The World Food Day theme is Grow, Nourish, Sustain, Together, Our Actions Are the Future. For more information, please contact the Ministry of Agriculture and Lands on 440-2708. And now for your government reminder. Let's remember to keep ourselves safe and protected at all times, using measures to safeguard our health. A face mask needs to cover both nose and mouth in order to be effective. Leaving your nose exposed defeats a key purpose of wearing a mask. The virus is transmitted through very tiny droplets that are exhaled and then inhaled through both nose and mouth. Use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Practice good hygiene and avoid large crowds and gatherings. This has been your government notices for today, Thursday, October 15, 2020. I am Carleen Peters. Until next time.